Hi, welcome back to Team Bully Sheep Reviews. As you can see, I am in the shed. Right. Charging. I was quite excited when I saw that the new eye charger on the market, there is an X6, but this is the X8. And the reason it's the X8 is because it's an eight cell charger. So I've set it up and tested it and I'll show you some of the features because it is it is a quality charger and it's got a good reputation for being accurate. When I was looking, I thought I'm gonna get the new eye charger. Anyway, I'll spin you around and show you my setup. Right, and this is my setup. <laughs> I got the two eye chargers set up on the lid of the, my power supply. I've got a battery box, it's a tin box, and inside I've got two uh, balance boards, one for each charger. So on powering up this charger, it'll go through a initialization and you can select the input source because some people like to run off a battery. Uh, so they might have a, a car battery or a lorry battery. To, to manage the, the charging and any discharges can go back into the source battery. So there's a little feature that came with, with the eye chargers, uh, were very good. So quite simply, plug it into the balance board and so immediately it shows that this battery is pretty charged, I have long charged it, it's 4.15 volts per cell. If I was to get my multimeter, so this is a calibrated fluke multimeter. So as you can see, the, the voltage is pretty accurate. The eye charger is renowned for being accurate and well calibrated from the factory. So how do you charge a battery? First thing you're presented on pressing the button is a list of options of different types of batteries. And the top one is LiPo. Now, conveniently I've created two battery programs this is something you may not have dealt with before because you would normally go in set your set your charge what you want balance voltage that's what we used to do with the with the eye charger and then hit start but this one they're trying to focus on people who are charging the same batteries constantly they can set a couple of programs so in this case it's a 2200 so i can select the 2200 program press it once and it's all set up ready 2.2 amps, the balance is standard, etc. So you can do um, a quick charge option, pressure it again. Are you sure you want to run? Yes. And the charger kicks in. So that's a predefined program and ready to go. But as you can see, we, we've we got the, the, the actual voltage. You've got the information that you would normally expect. It's got in amps and watts showing what it's putting in. Plus you can see the cell progress here. You can see the cells charging up nicely as the the balance works and the eye charger is exceptional for balancing in simple terms the power for the charge is always through the xt socket what it does on the balance leads when it's seeing the cells actually up to coming up to voltage it will put a load on the higher cells to allow the other cells to catch up so it's not actually squirting more power in on the, on the lower voltage cells. It's actually restricting the higher charge cells. So that middle cell two is up to, to 4.2. So there'll be a, a slight load being added to that to allow the other two cells to come up and join it. So it's not putting power in, it's actually putting load on. And that's how the balancing works. And with the eye charger, there's there's a quick charge, a quick balance, and there's a slow, a more accurate balance. So you can select the level of balance, and that's how much power it, it applies on there. If you want the battery to charge very quickly, but you, you're not overly concerned about the balance, you can put a fast balance, and it'll put a lot more power into the battery quicker to get that quicker charge. But like I said, it's, you sacrifice the accuracy of the balance and it does a really, really good job. And as you can see, the, the current is throttling back because the battery is now on fully charged. Now, a nice feature with this charger is if you use the jog wheel, you can see the internal battery resistance. Now, 
I have, I know that the battery, because this is one of my test batteries, is pretty poor. So you can see I've got two cells at 15 ohms or 15 milliohms. So I know that cell two has got a higher internal battery resistance than cells one and three. You ideally want to see all those uh, being roughly the same. So to stop the battery charging, I've just pressed a long press and it stopped the battery. But I've still got the internal battery resistance. I can look at some of the statistics by using the scroll and I can see how many, you know, the power limit, end voltages, etc., all the settings. I can see the how much current has gone into each cell. So how much power has, has gone in and then the cell voltage but I can still see the internal battery resistance. So I know looking at that battery that I've got a, you know, one is 13.7, one's 15.4, but you know, the, the, the middle one, cell two is 18. So I'll remove this battery and try a different battery. So as soon as I plug the battery in, it shows me the cell voltage. I said, press and hold up, get IR and off it goes. You know, that's 12, 10 and 11. So these are the batteries that's on my bench and these are the battery, these are the reasons why they're on my bench is because they're old and they're only good for testing. So again, back to the menu, if I change the battery and I'm say using my 1300, I can plug that in, it checks the, the battery. So if I go into that mode, it's all ready to go. So I can drop the battery in, plug it into the balance port Hit charge. Are you are you sure you want to run? Yes. Charge and then the charging commence. You see the voltage ramp up and it starts to charge the battery. If you want to stop it charging, long press and it stops. But how nice is it that you can actually see it all in a nice colored display? And to refresh your memories, to, to charge using the older charger, it should be whatever you last used which is in balance mode you would press the enter button and it would flash do you want to change it from light pole press it again and it's saying 2200 so I select the voltage I want press start and then you press and hold start then it goes into battery check and then it's off checking the battery I can press the button, I can see the battery cell voltage. So to check the IRR on this charger, I'd have to go back and go lithium batteries, no. I'd have to go into to special modes. I'd have to, the first option is motor drive, foam cut. Measure internal battery resistance, press start. And it's measuring bit clumsy a bit of a process to do to have it on your screen was really convenient on, on this this charger select the charge mode 1.3 if I wanted to change that say I decided oh, I'm going to change the, the capacity voltage now I've just added another battery I can press and hold on the charge setting and then it gives me access then to these settings so I can change the, the current and I can take that up uh, 2.6 and then go down to start yes and then that's now charging our battery at 2.6 amps so lovely little charger really pleased with it so that is the new iCharger X8 and I'm sure the newer versions will will have the USB output on it is seems a shame it hasn't if they don't i recommend you get one of these i've covered this before this is the the battery go tester and is really convenient and this is my 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 old faithful i've always had one of these where i've been able to plug the cell voltage in and this was uh, they call these the battery medic and um, what i could do with this is hit balance and if I had cells that were drifting and I, I could press balance, it would balance all the cells to be the same voltage and I could leave it, leave it going. It's only taking, you know, milliamps. And then the battery would be perfectly balanced. 
and that's what I would find with some of these batteries is I check the cell voltage and it was one cell that's always seemed to be lower what you can do then is if you know you, you've got a cell failing you can check it on the internal battery resistance you'll see one of the cells is is dropping off you'll have a high resistance and then you you know it's time to retire it to be in a test battery in the shed or discharge it and get rid of it you know you need to take charging batteries very very seriously don't overcharge them make sure you select the right voltage so you know take a tip from people who have burnt their sheds down i haven't thankfully check the battery voltages check everything is is right before you put anything on charge and always keep an eye on them you know having a smoke detector is handy for early warning but try to be around if things start flaring up then you need to deal with it very 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 quickly because things can escalate when it comes to fire very quickly so safety first invest in a good charger and a good power supply of course but a good charger will will see you through i've had my i charger for a number of years i've got the new one and i'm hoping that's going to last a number of years also so thank you for watching team woolly sheep reviews so stay tuned there's more to come and i just hope we can get out on the flying site and do some flying and i'm looking to do some ride and fly so i hope you uh, like my little introduction to my bike so i'm looking forward to getting a little bit fitter and having a bit of fun seeing how i can transport my planes and drones on my mountain bike mm. so take care stay safe see you soon bye